everyone, Fez here from Crypto Setups. Today I'm going to take you through how you set up the Terra wallet. Now, I'm going to create a whole range of tutorials around the Terra ecosystem, which consists of the mirror assets and this excellent protocol that is Anchor. But in order to do and use these protocols, the first thing you need is to get set up with the wallet. And um, this tutorial is really around an absolute beginner's guide, right? So I'm going to go under the assumption you haven't set up your MetaMask or anything like that before. You're coming to this and, and I'll talk you through each step of the way. So with the um, Terra uh, station aspect, the, well, the wallet, you have two actual wallets you would need to install. One, you need to get the extension because if you want to interact with the various dApps that are being built like Anchor, you need the extension to do it. And then the other one is in the actual desktop app. Now, I have found like if you want to interact with some of the uh, Terra Station features like over here where staking, wallet and some of the other governance aspects, you do need the app to do it. So it, it's essentially the same thing. Once you create one wallet, you just migrate the same wallet into that app if you want or have two separate wallets it's up to you so first thing you need to do is we'll install the extension so click on go to the chrome store and just add it on so i'll just add the extension on there and we're done and as you can see it's already in there excellent so i have clicked on the extension and you can see it's given me a range of options so what i'll do what we want to do is create a new wallet so i will click on create new wallet and it will open a new window there we go so the first thing you need to do is uh, set up the wallet which is your name password and things like that so so once you've put in your name and set up a password before you go, the next thing you need is your seed phrase. Now, again, if this is your first time ever setting up anything like that, a seed phrase is critical. This is what you would use if, say, your computer went dead or you went somewhere else and you didn't have access, your wallet has disappeared. You can use this seed phrase and put it into a new wallet and it'll retrieve everything you have in, in that wallet on your new computer. Now, great. But at the same time, you can see how important this phrase is that you store it correctly. So not on an online drive somewhere that if it gets hacked, someone gets access to it. Really keep it offline, make a few backups. Uh, people sometimes print it however you choose, but make sure you keep a proper copy of it safely. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial, I will save this. However, after I'm done with this wallet, I won't use it again, uh, but it's just strictly for this video. So I have uh, written it down, kept a copy, and I'll hit next. Now, you can't fake this. You need to make sure you've kept a copy because it asks you for a certain number of words to put in, as you can see. So I'll just go add that in now. And once you've picked it, create wallet. Excellent. That's it. That's how simple it is. So all I've done here is set up my wallet. I have saved my seed phrase and that's it. Now, this is the address you would use to uh, paste if you want to send any, any coins to your wallet. Now, a great way, uh, uh, some exchanges you can get Luna on. So the Terra uh, native token is Luna. Now, you can get it on Binance, and I'll put a link there. KuCoin. KuCoin is a good one because it it supports UST as well. So you can actually send UST straight into your wallet and that's what the currency you need to use some of the apps I've talked about like Anchor. The second you add any tokens that are off the Luna network, of the Terra network, like uh, say the Anchor token or interact with certain dApps or any of the currencies that supports so UST, AST because it has a range of international um, uh, currencies the platform supports it will just you just need that same address it will automatically populate in your wallet okay so now that we've done that the next thing I will go back to is so the second aspect is actually using installing the Terra Station app so I will load that up now and here we are so 
This is the TerraStation app. So what we installed before is the extension. It will help you interact with various dApps on the browser. And this app in particular, you can load up your wallet and actually, as you can see, it has a bit more of a summary of everything going on in the uh, Terra, Terra ecosystem. So from your dashboard, you can click on your wallet as you can see it doesn't have any information there it will display your history your staking so you can stake the lunar token which earns you interest 11 percent, i believe is the going rate at the moment it also has a swap functionality built into it where you can swap between different currencies all all the currencies that uh, the terra platform allows you to mint and you can see there and i really like that it's got the aussie dollar in there and governance and other things. So what what I wanted to show you with this is, so you've created your wallet on your extension and you're like, okay, what do I create a new wallet? What do I do here? It's asking you to connect. So let's take a look. So you can see right away, if I click connect, it's not prompting me to connect to the extension because it won't. You need to actually either import via private key, recover an existing wallet or create a new wallet. Now, I don't want to have multiple wallets. I actually want to um, recover the existing wallet. So let's go through that. Okay, so again, I just need to put in the name, password, and the seed phrase. So let me go filling up all of that. Now, the wallet name and password does not need to be the same, but the seed phrase would need to be sa the same. What you're putting in over here is the name for this particular app, what you want to call the wallet. But when you put the seed phrase in, it will pull whatever's attached to that seed phrase and there you go so I've intentionally named the wallet something else and put in a few other details here but I have put in the same seed phrase now remember there will be nothing in this wallet because I'll never use it again after this tutorial so let's hit next and right away so a great way for me to check is if you look back on the video you'll see that I have the same address so what I've done is essentially loaded the same wallet in here now had I had funds in this wallet the second I would have restored it everything would have popped up in this wallet so that's it this is the first thing you need to interact with all the different dApps that are being built in the Terra ecosystem so once you have your wallet you can now get started in using some of the protocols. And I'm really looking forward to bringing you the next tutorial, which is around the Anchor protocol, where you are able to take loans out, you're able to um, get a high interest rate. So essentially think you don't need to do anything. You can just literally deposit your USD and earn steadily 20% on, on, um, on your funds. So stay tuned i'll have more of that soon and i'll keep building on my tutorials around the um, terra ecosystem if you like my content and everything i'm doing please like and subscribe it helps in every way shape and form so i really appreciate it thank you